is Marcia Foss, Director of Career Services at Valley City State University, and today we're visiting with Summer Romine about her student teaching experience this fall semester and the fact that she's graduating from <laughs> university in three more days. So, Summer, can you start off by telling us where you student taught and what grade level this fall? I student taught um, out in Williston, North Dakota, and I taught K through six at Wilkinson Elementary Physical Education, and then I was at the high school grades nine through twelve. Okay, how prepared did you feel I going felt, out there? I felt very prepared going out there. Um, the st the staff at VCSU prepared me very well for the physical education classroom. Um, classroom management, especially, was vital for out in Williston. Okay, so, so why Williston? Williston, well, I have family ties out there, so I had a place to stay, but also I had classmates at Valley City that talked about um, their high school teacher that they had out there and how good she was with them, and so that kind of made me want to go out there and see what they had to offer. <laughs> okay, great. What do you think you learned or experienced there that you might not have experienced in another North Dakota school district? Definitely um, adapting because of the influx of students that they have coming through all of the time. There's kids coming in every week. So I definitely had an experience with adapting and, like I said, classroom management, especially because these kids are coming in all the time. They're not there for the beginning of the year. You have to constantly be going over your classroom rules, what you're expecting, all of the time. You have to keep that in mind all of the time. Okay. So Williston has had some negative marketing. Could you talk about the positives of being a part of the Williston Public Schools? The staff at Williston, I mean all around elementary, high school, um, they are willing to work with you. Um, they, want, they want their staff to give the students the best education that they can have possible. You're from a small school. Mm -hmm. You went to Valley City State. You did an internship last year out at Litchville Marion, which is a smaller school. So now all of a sudden you're in Williston. What can you tell us about the students? The students are just like any other students. <laughs> I mean, they do come from families that are moving around a lot. So there are, you know, some of those adjustments with, um, they don't feel like they've been in a location very long, so they might, you know, they might act out a little more because of that, but they're just, they're just kids. In the end, they're just kids. At the end of my student teaching, those kids that were acting out in the beginning were completely fine. <laughs> okay. They're just testing the waters. <laughs> sure, sure. Okay. So spring semester, you're going to stay in Williston. Mm -hmm and probably be a very busy substitute teacher. Yes. <laughs> so what was your, what made you decide to do this? I decided to stay out there um, because of the awesome experience I had. I mean, the, the teachers, I was only with two teachers, but the teachers that I saw in the hallways, the principals, the staff in the office, they're all so welcoming that it made me want to work for them. It made me want I, I don't feel like I owed them something <laughs> okay. but I felt like you know they gave me such a good experience why not give them a little back too because I know they need it okay yes we we're talking they, they have a demand for yes. teachers so <laughs> okay um, tell us about your best teaching experience this fall well that's hard <laughs> elementary and high school are very different <laughs> um, I guess for the elementary it would be that the kids were so welcoming. They, I mean, anything that you do, they are going to love, <laughs> and they're going to love you for it. And I guess that would be the biggest thing for elementary. For the high school, it's um, definitely developing those relationships with high school students that you're not gonna have with the elementary ones. I mean, at, like I said, at the end, those kids that gave me grief in the beginning, they're like my best pal, my last day. Mm -hmm. So it's really all about the students. I mean, they, they make or break your experience, I think. And the teachers have um, done a really good job with their students all the way through. Okay. 
Any words of advice for a new graduate who might be considering a teaching position in Williston? Go in with a positive attitude because um, there is a lot of negatives surrounding Williston, but the community is trying to grow. They're trying to shed that. I mean, no one wants to be looked at as negative. I mean, they're trying to grow. They're building new um, shopping places, new eating places. They just uh, finished that recreation center, the Williston Parks and Rec Center, that is gorgeous. And they're trying, really trying to gear their city towards families because they want people to stay. They want people to look at Williston positively. So I'd say just go in with a positive attitude because when, if you go in with a negative one, you're not going to get anything positive out of it. So. Okay. Um, just one last question about the makeup of the student body. Several international students? Yes, there are a lot of international students. I mean, y when you go out there, you're going to gain experience and diversity. And maybe you only want to go out there to get experience, but you know what? They're okay with that. They want you out there. They want teachers to have experience. You're going to have that diversity because they're, they have students from Turkey, from Mexico, from Germany. I mean, they're everywhere. They're coming from everywhere. So they're going to have a good experience out there. <laughs> great. Well, it sounds like you had a great experience. And why don't you close by telling us your plans for after substitute teaching this spring? My plans, I've applied to um, NDSU for the school counseling program, and I'm waiting to hear from them. So those are my plans. Okay. <laughs> well, I know that um, that, that will be a definite uh, happening event for you and that you will be very successful and all of these different experiences you have will certainly um, help you as you go into the school counseling field. So thank you Summer for coming in today and for sharing your experiences thank with us. Thank you.